Hi everybody, welcome to the studio. It's Martin from Mayor Street Records. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're making great music as ever. You know the spiel from now. Um, anyway, if you don't know me, I am Martin. I run a recording studio. I'm a music producer, musician, recordist, mastering engineer, songwriter, everything you can think of to a degree within music is what I do. Um, We've recently been doing audiobooks as well, which is fantastic and lots of fun and adds a bit of variety to recording. But I welcome you to my recording space. I today have been recording a singer-songwriter and I was about to open a new purchase for the studio uh, that I thought I won't be unsociable about it. I would share it with you, with you all. Um, so here we are. Um, and as you've probably guessed from the title, I thought I would go with this new legendary microphone which of course if you're not new to audio you know this is not really a brand new mic at all it's a very well known mic well at least the SM7 was very well known which is an original microphone by Shaw but I have purchased the SM7B um, just basically through demand you know um you might get it yourself if you run a recording studio where a musician will come in and they'll say oh yeah we want to play that particular microphone or we want to use that particular microphone for the vocal because so and so did and you know there's the engineer probably thinking you're not going to hear anything different <laughs> or you might do you might just feel different so i get that side of it as well but today in this video i want to kind of put a thing to bed where a friend of mine, we're talking about it a lot, saying that the SM58 sounds very similar, if not the same, as the SM7B. So let's have a listen. I'll play you one of my tracks. I'll get the acoustic guitar out and you can decide for yourself. And I can use this video as a reference to prove the point or to say, fair enough, it doesn't sound the same. My opinion is that without hearing it at all, um, is that they're going to sound slightly different. Different microphones, surely, but apparently um, they've got the same capsule. We'll soon find out. Um, for me, though, forget the tech specs. What do the ears tell you? So let's just dive straight in to recording a song side by side so you can hear the difference um, between um, the, the actual microphone takes. Just before we get stuck in, I do appreciate a like and a subscribe. So please, wherever that is down below on the screen, please hit the like and the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. I'm a small channel and I try my best to get a video out at least once every two to three weeks. It's giving you guys something for free, which is basically me talking about audio or recording something or yeah, showing you something to do with the sounds studio side of things. So <laughs> either way, I appreciate it. Um, so let's get into recording the audio now and let's compare the SM7B and the SM58 side by side as a vocal microphone and see how they sound. So then the first microphone I'm going to use is the SM58. It doesn't have the biggest pop shield in the world, and you'll see what I mean when I do the SM7B, but it does have the grill, with the very famous looking grill for a microphone, and it does have a bit of foam behind that as well. But I'm gonna keep it straight. I'm gonna go straight into my Neve preamp. I'm not gonna compress. Sorry, I am gonna compress, but only slightly on the vocal, um, but no EQ is gonna be added. So let's have a listen. <clears throat> okay, so. SM58, I've got the C414 here. So let's see how we go. Wake up, what am I gonna do today? Without you in my world, will I ever smile again? The other night, you said that you really cared. Were you telling lies? Did I ever have to fall? So I've swapped the microphones round and I've got the SM7B here. As you can see, there is the pop shield on the front, but I haven't, I haven't changed the settings. So let's listen. Wake up. What am I gonna do today without you in my world? 
Will I ever smile again the other night? You said that you really cared. Were you telling lies? Did I ever have to fall? So there you go. Let's have a listen back. Well, you have just listened to it. I'm going to now listen back myself and, yeah, see how we go. Okay, so in the nerve centre, let's have a listen back and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, so for me, it's the SM7B all the way. What do you think? Now, I'll be honest, there's no time in these videos and I do apologise for that. I really rush through because I wanted to make sure that you got to see what I did yeah, if I'd spent more time on both microphones, especially the SM58, I could have been a bit more kind to it in terms of going in, but I kind of just went for that quick record. We've got an idea for a song, let's lay it down. Yeah, that the quality doesn't always matter when that happens, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm looking for that quick microphone, which could also give you a great take, which um, you might even keep for your record. You know how it works, you do a vocal take, it sounds amazing, even if it's not in the right setting, it's the one that you just can't redo. <laughs> um, so for me, the SM58 was, yeah, it could be more processed, definitely going in with a bit of EQ, a bit more, maybe a bit more subtle compression or harder compression rather. Um, but that aside, I'm amazed by the SM7B. I now understand the hype. I think it's a microphone that is very smooth. The pop shield part of it definitely helps. Um, the settings that I used were very minimal EQ, sorry, very min minimal compression, and just a normal set and a good gain stage for it. But it was the same gain setting, just hitting just below negative um, uh, 3 dB uh, on, the, on the mic pre. So uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I... I'm, I'm blown away and I'm very, very excited to use this mic. It's the SM7B. I'm pleased to have it in the fleet of microphones that we keep here. Um, so if you're thinking about buying it, I recommend it definitely. At first, I was kind of on the boat of, okay, if it has the same capsule as the SM58, apparently, then in some ways, what's the point paying the extra money for the microphone? Now, I know the SM7B has a few more um, things you can dial into it. I think it's got a low cut, for example, or a pad. So those are the things that I haven't even looked at yet. It's literally out the box. Um, but as you can tell from my excitement, possibly, uh, which are kind of is always the, the case when I've got new toys, um, is, uh, you know, it's a good mic. So I hope this video has helped you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, obviously, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know your own thoughts on the comparison and sounds. Um, I'd noticed there was a bit of a peak on the SM58. It didn't peak going into the into Pro Tools, which is strange, but maybe it was my voice, maybe I should have had some more water, <laughs> who knows, but the SM7B all the way, 100%. I'm sorry, SM58, you're a great mic on stage, and yeah, with a, with a pop filter, you're great as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel bad now for the SM58, right, okay. Better go. See you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.